Good evening, everybody. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Good evening and welcome. Uh, I will not say much. I know you're not here to hear me sing or talk, but uh, but to just hear these wonder this wonderful duo. I think I first met Nick. I can't remember what year it was. It was at Mystic, Connecticut. He was a teenager at the time, young teenager, not you know. Sorry. <laughs> And he was dancing up a storm then. And uh, so Nick and Simon are gonna, well, a lot of you know them. Anybody here don't, doesn't know them? Okay, well, you, you're gonna have a great evening. Everyone will have a great evening. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, without further ado, <laughs> Nick Harris and Simon, and Simon Christman.
Thanks, everybody. Well, the fiddler's up and the bow is flying. Mama's in the kitchen and the bacon is frying. The boys want to dance, by God, they're trying. When they hear that call, back turn and swing. 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 Turn and swing. That's your part. Well, the girls hop up and the wine is pouring. Dust come up from the cracks in the floor. And the old folks say, don't dance anymore. Unless you play something slow, back turn and swing. 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 Go woo, folks. <laughs> that's right. Woo, yeah. It's okay to go woo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You'll feel better. <laughs> and and we yeah we will feel better exactly. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I was here, and since the last time we've all been cooped up quite a lot since 2019. And maybe woo feels like too much too soon. If that's the case for you, you can also say hop. It's kind of like a nice conservative option. And you can also kind of pretend you didn't say it, like hop. Or if you're feeling really generous, you can say the names of where we live. You can say uh, up Ashland, Oregon, for Simon. Or up Lansing, Michigan. Or maybe you will make a sound you've never made before, and that would also be totally great. So we welcome your noises of pleasure into the space. Well, the hiss corn comes from Joe McNevin, better than all last year by heaven, but not as sweet as 57. That was the summer, oh, back turn and swing. Back turn and swing. Back turn and swing. Back turn and swing. Daddy's in the kitchen and the bacon is frying. Non-binary folks, by God, we're trying to get them to change those calls back, turn and swing. 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 Back 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 turn and swing. Hello, old songs. It's so nice to see you all. Uh, Simon and I were talking in the car. That's Simon Christman on the Hammer Dulcimer, everybody. We were talking in the car. Simon was last at the festival in 2016 with Jeremy Kittle, my friend from Michigan, who 
who I did my first gig with when I was 11. And um, I think the first time that I came was in 2006 with David Munley, a long, long time ago. And Jeremy was also actually there. And uh, I think I came here with Duo Duo in 2015. It's the only other time I've been here, and it's so nice to be back. I have to confess, though, right out of the blocks, I have to get this off my chest, which is that when I was a kid, I was sent a bootleg, which is probably very forbidden, VHS tape of the festival to learn steps off of from the dance company I was trying to dance with, which was Footworks, Percussive Dance Ensemble. So they sent me this like bootleg VHS, and I was like, what is this great festival called Old Songs? And so like at, from 11 years old on, I've always like wanted to go to Old Songs until I got to go in 2006. So I've never told you all that before. <laughs> it stays in this room and on the internet with the live stream. <laughs> But we started with a tune that's called Fine Times at Our House, and it comes from a fiddle player from John W. Summers. I'm from the Midwest, and so I love uh, to, to champion music, fiddle music especially from the Midwest, because we know that old time music was all over this, this piece of land. Um, and uh, he was an Indiana fiddle player. This next set of tunes is also from a Midwestern fiddle player, someone you might know from Illinois, specifically from Chicago, called Liz Carroll. And, oh great, yeah, big hand for Liz Carroll, everybody. <laughs> Liz Carroll is so amazing, such a prolific composer, endlessly inspiring, and anywhere you find people who play Irish music, they will probably play a Liz Carroll tune. That's, um, that's the influence that she's had on Irish music. And so these are two tunes of hers that we love. It's called The Champagne Jig Goes to Columbia, and the second tune is called Pat and Alice, two jigs from Liz.
do something very forbidden here and play Pretty Little Shoes in D.
Um, dancing with Simon is like when you have a dream about um, when you're going somewhere and or coming back from somewhere and you're almost home, and you like you know that like just over that next hill or like just around the corner, like you're you're home free. Um, but there's still kind of unfamiliar territory around you. It's not quite your home. You, you don't know it as well. Maybe you took a different way home. Um, and so it, it always feels like this practice of kind of trying to find each other um, and always trying to get back home. And somehow, magically, Simon makes it possible for this uh, melding of hammer dulcimer, you know, three coarse strings, hundreds of them, and these shoes with some sand you know, drawing on Appalachian clogging and Irish step dancing and step dance from Quebec to kind of mesh together. So I feel so grateful to have that dream every night when I get to be on stage with Simon Christman. So big hand for Simon. Bravo. Okay, well, Sammy Williams was um, a lumber person, and he died in 1908. He came all the way from this part of the world, um, from the Sacandaw, which is where this next song takes place, very close to where we are now, about an hour north, and worked all the way through to Montana. He owned like 300 acres in Montana eventually from lumber money. And he was known um, for loving... Uh, loving to celebrate and loving to share, uh, dancing with people. It was said that he danced with a different woman every night. I don't know how that happened in the lumber camp. But, um, <laughs> um, uh, but he, um, yeah, he was quite a character and, and very beloved by all the people that he worked with. And when he died in 1908 in Manhattan, Montana, it was found when the autopsy was conducted that he is what we might now call a trans person. It's not fair for me to put a label on somebody who didn't choose that label for themselves, but I do think it's important to remember that gender diversity has existed for hundreds of years in many, many industries, including logging. And I don't need to tell you in this part of the world that logging is like still one of the most dangerous jobs right up there with fishing. Um, and so this is a song all about the dangers of that, and we'll sing this for Sammy Williams um, and for all the other people who were lumbering, lumber people of many, many, many desires and backgrounds and genders. This has a chorus. It goes, my girl's waiting for me. And you can sing that chorus. There's about like 50 verses. So <laughs> by verse 30, you'll definitely have it.
This girl comes to me and she cries If he's dead then I shall die Mon petit, he used to sigh My girl's waiting for me Big friend showed the logs drown him He had no chance to fight or swim The logs jammed up to the river's brim my girl's waiting for me Mon petit will wring your hands As we scrape away at the yellow sand And bury him by the river is strand My girl's waiting for me One more night and one more day The hogs will reach the river bank I'll skin off these togs and I will say My girl's waiting for me waiting for me beautiful singing everybody I think we'll play a tune I wrote a few years ago maybe actually nine years ago now um, but wrote it for this duo actually just sitting on somebody's porch in Berkeley California um, What do you say about a tune, anyways? <laughs> um, but we'll play it, and then we won't have to say anything about it. It's called the A-Tune, because I never could think of a name for it.
Thank you. Uh, I'm just having one of those nights where like, I feel like I go to say something and I'm like, nah, not that. <laughs> no, not that either. Not that but hopefully that's all right. Um, did anybody ever hear Ralph Stanley play live? I did not. Anybody here? Well, shoot. I learned this next one kind of from a recording of his, um, Rocky Island. Just a nice crooked little song. And we're going to do it a terrible injustice and try to play it just as fast as we possibly can. <laughs> just because it's kind of fun. And it's kind of fun to do something that you're most likely to fall apart doing. <laughs> so here we go. Y'all look tired, <laughs> so we're going to take a break. <laughs> and uh, at the break, there's refreshments for you to enjoy. Uh, but before you do that, you can enjoy the most refreshing thing, um, which is a song about animating sources of pleasure. It's the time of the night after a song like that when inhibitions and layers start to get shed. We all get a little bit more comfortable with each other. And if we were at a house party in Ireland or in the Southern Appalachian region, maybe this would be a moment when people might pass around something to sip on, an animating source of pleasure. <laughs> and that's what this next song is about. Um, we know that these animating sources of pleasure have been subject to extreme regulation by institutions of power, because we know they can cause great joy, but also great destruction. And uh, maybe the state doesn't like it very much when we're pleasured up. Uh, perhaps they think things might change uh, a little bit. Um, and so in this song, the two animating sources of pleasure are drinking whiskey and playing cards. Um, and the song is called Jack of Diamonds. It comes from Surrey County in North Carolina from a fiddle player named Tommy Jero. And uh, it has a chorus, the most refreshing animating source of pleasure of course, is singing with other people, which is why people sing when we protest, why we do the important work of telling the people in charge, those institutions of power, that we don't always love what they're doing. Maybe never love what they're doing. <laughs> so um, this is a chance for you to raise and practice that. It goes, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, I've known you from old. You robbed my poor pockets of my silver and gold, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. We like to think that Tommy Gerald could really swing. So we're imagining that Tommy is going to swing this tune. You know, of course, as educated folk audiences, about the spectrum, like everything in life, 
It's a spectrum between straight ahead and swung. Straight ahead, of course. Versus swung. Cards in England, I've gambled in Spain. I'm going back down to old songs. You won't play my last game. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds. I've known you from old. You're on my four pockets and my silver and gold. If the ocean was a whiskey and I was a duck, Lord, I'd dive to the bottom and I'd never come up. But the ocean ain't a whiskey and I ain't no duck. Play the jack of diamonds and trust. My luck, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, I've known you from old. You're on my four pockets and my silver and gold. I feed on the counter. I made the glass ring. More brandy, more brandy, more brandy to bring. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. Here I'm my four pockets and my silver and gold. I wake up in the morning, I stagger, I feel. Oh, damn that corn whiskey, how bad I do feel. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. Here I'm my four pockets and my silver and gold. Jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. Here I'm my four pockets and my silver. Feeling much better, my sprout wings and fly. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. You're out of my full pockets and my silver and gold. Gonna take down my fiddle, gonna rise up the bowl, gonna make myself merry wherever I go. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. You're out of my full pockets and my silver and gold. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I've known you from old. You're out of my four pockets and my silver and gold. Beautiful singing, everybody. We'll see you after the break. wonderful baked goods and things to drink over there on your right. And we'll be back shortly.
It's always louder than I think it's going to be. Pura le fia sanctenye, pura le fia sanctenye, a sanctenye le fiancent, tirant les garçons sur les avirons. Chanty Coram will be here next week, and they won't be doing that song, but they'll be doing many Quebecois songs and tunes. So on the 26th, come on out for Chanty Coram, and uh, they're just brilliant. Every group we have here is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so of course, during the, in the beginning, I forgot to say, I'm Joy Bennett, I'm the executive director of Old Songs. I, sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. Um, coming up, of course, next week is John Decorum, and then our final concert of the spring concert series is May 5th, John Roberts, 80th birthday, and he's, doing a concert for his 80th birthday, so come on out. There'll be cake. <laughs> then we start up our season, well, I can't forget the festival. The festival is June 28th to 30th. There's a postcard in the back, take one as you go out. It has the list of people who are in the festival this year. Uh, there will be another postcard going out in the mail and we'll have lots of those, but uh, it'll give you some idea of what's, what's coming up for the festival. <laughs> yes. Um, and what else? Oh, and our first, first concert of fall season is John McCutcheon on September 29th. So that's a Sunday concert, which usually we don't do Sundays, but we're doing the John Roberts on Sunday because that's his actual birthday, and we're doing John McCutcheon. So without further ado, oh, what would you like? Nick? <laughs> what about your Facebook page you wanted to say? Do we have a Facebook page? Do you have a Facebook page? A duo Facebook page. A duo Facebook page. It's called, we're bringing Facebook back. <laughs> Some people thought it was over. Like, everybody who's 19 thinks it's over. But it's not over yet. So, yeah, you can go on our Facebook page, Simon Christian and Nick Garris, and you can learn about future shows. For example, the show that's tomorrow in Kittery, Maine. Or the show that is after that in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Or in Bowdoin, Maine. Or in uh, Richmond, Vermont. Or in Scranton, Maine. Or the ones that were before this one. It's also a place to see <laughs> videos of what we do and check it out. So, uh, Yay. Great. so without further ado, <laughs> Nick and Simon.
Thank you all so much. Thank you for staying. That's a tune by Simon Christman, everybody. When I was a, a teenager, I wanted nothing more than to become an ethno-choreologist. <laughs> That's exactly what my parents said, too. Um, uh, and so I went to school for ethno-choreology, which is like a dance anthropology degree at the University of Limerick in Ireland. And because I'm from Michigan and everything is a hand, it, it is down here in Ireland. And um, I met an amazing musician there named David Curley, who taught me this next song. It's an 18th century ode to non-monogamy and uh, <laughs> to sharing time and touch and care with multiple people over many years as a committed thing. Um, not a commitment to one person, but a commitment to this roving, ranging, uncharted desire that bell hooks would call it. Um, and uh, it's not about sowing your oats and then settling down, but rather um, staying the course of finding love wherever you see it, which is what James Baldwin said. Um, it is called One April Morning, and it comes originally from England. It's from, like I said, it's from the 18th century, um, and I learned it from, from David Curley. It starts like this. It was 
sun one April morning, just as the sun was rising. It was on one April morning, I heard the small birds sing. They were singing lovely fancy, for love it is a fancy. Sweet were the notes that I heard the small birds sing. Presumptuous of somebody to tell you what tune to be or what key to be playing your tune. I know. Well, if you know Tristan Claridge, then you know that his opinions about pitch and harmony are very strong <laughs> and usually right. <laughs>
you ever figured out a way to like... <laughs> like, <laughs> like Ichabod Crane, I know you like Ichabod Crane up here. Um, like where he takes like the whole cake, a whole piece of cake from the party in the Sleepy Hollow, like the 1953 version. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, um, what? <laughs> oh, this is an amazing piece of American animation. Yeah, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Um, quite, quite good. I recommend it. It's a little bit unseasonal, but um, this is a song that comes from New Jersey, <laughs> um, and uh, it's about. Um, unrequited love and about coming home and crying to your parents um, and them wondering where you went because you're so heartbroken. It's called Jersey City and there's a chorus. Um, we were uh, looking downstairs in some of the magazines at, at the old like um, Sing Out magazine and like F Roots. Like, like these beautiful, dirty linen, all these old folk magazines that like I used to hoard when I was a young folk child um, at the age of like 12. Um, and uh, there was a review of one of the artists that we learned this song from, from Tim Erickson, from his band Cordelia's Dad. So this is Jersey City. And you can sing, the chorus goes, um, Go dig my grave, boho, wide and deep, put a marble stone there at my head and my feet and on my heart put a turtle dove for to show the world that i died for love go dig my grave you can say it with your teeth go dig my grave <laughs> Woo, good yeah both wide and deep Put a marble stone at my head and my feet. And on my heart, put a turtle dove for to show the world that I died for love. Exactly, yeah. Fort 
loud Beautiful singing, everybody. One of the people I got to meet when I was a student at Limerick was this amazing dancer named Colin Dunn. Um, yay, somebody knows Colin Dunn here. <laughs> Colin Dunn was the person who replaced Michael Flatley in Riverdance. <laughs> but maybe more importantly, <laughs> or actually an another piece of his resume is that he was like a world champion by the time he was like five or something like that. <laughs> and he won like nine All-Ireland World Championships in Irish Step Dancing. But then the, the most important thing for me is that <clears throat> he created this incredible show called Out of Time, which is the greatest sin in Irish step dancing, tap dancing, Appalachian flat footing, flamenco, to be out of time. Um, and he created this show, which is a semi-autobiographical work about his own physical history with Irish step dance. And I think it's one of the most incredible pieces of theater maybe ever made. And he really encouraged me after I saw the show to experiment in this next way that you're about to see. So this is a little homage to Colin Dunn and two slip jigs um, that Simon showed me from Siobhan Peoples. Maybe you know Siobhan Peoples is the daughter of the great fiddle player Tommy Peoples. She is the great Siobhan Peoples in her own right. Um, and she taught at the University of Limerick when I was a student there as well. A uh, very popular teacher. And um, two tunes from Donegal. What are they called? Um, Junior's a Bowman. Anna's a Slipper Slipper. Yeah. Junior's a Bowman Anna's from Go for the Mouse. Because I think they're both places.
Thank you so much. It has been such a joy. Thank you so much for having us. We have two tunes left for you. They're both from the Southern Appalachian region. The first one is called Lonesome Road. It comes from a fiddle player called Gaither Carlton from North Carolina. And the second tune is called Speed the Plow. Um, maybe you play that tune or you know it. Um, and I'll do some, some Appalachian flat footing. I think it's so important when you go to dance school, <laughs> um, you learn about the names of people in New York, Sometimes in LA, sometimes people from Paris, sometimes people from Moscow, but you don't often learn about people from rural places. And so it feels really important to say the names of people like uh, Robert Dotson and Willard Watson and Elsie King and Aljamay Hinton and Biddy Reese, who are all people who taught my teachers, who you know probably, Eileen Carson and Rodney Sutton and Ira Bernstein. Um, and yeah, so those are some of my favorite dancers from the Appalachian region. Um, and I just think it's important to say those names. Thank you so very much for having us. I want to say a big thanks to Keith, who's been doing the sound for us tonight. Thank you, Keith. I was talking with Joy backstage, and she loves when people at Old Songs come up to her and are like, I have this great idea. Your staff can do this. And she reminds them that she is one of two staff who make this entire festival and concert series, and all these dances happen, and a camp of her own. So a big hand for Joy Bennett, everybody. Yeah. We have nothing to sell you, but we would love to talk to you. Um, maybe we'll be over here, and we'll say hi. We'll turn on the, the vitamin D lights. <laughs> and. Um, uh, I also should tell you that we have a gig tomorrow in Kittery, Maine. If you know anybody in Kittery or Portsmouth, uh, please send them our way. We have a gig at Club Passim in Boston or Cambridge next week. Um, we have a gig in Framingham and uh, also a gig in Richmond, Vermont and Bodenham, Maine. So you can check all that out on Facebook. If you want to learn to do this kind of dancing, you can come to the camp that I run in Michigan called Earful of Fiddle Music and Dance Camp, which is in its 16th year. Um, and we have a really amazing tutorial staff um, with some incredible dancers, uh, including one of my teachers, as well as an incredible musical staff, including Jake Blunt, Alison DeGroote, Tatiana Hargraves, uh, Raleigh Tussing, Reed Stutz, um, incredible, incredible artists. Bruce Bowman is going to teach Michigan fiddle playing. So if you're interested in that, we can talk about your full fiddle. One more round of applause for Simon Crispin. <laughs> Thanks again. Please be safe. This is Lonesome Road and Speed the Plow.
I ever saw was the day I left my home. My love was the day I left my If two best friends must part someday, then why not you and I, my love? Then why not you and I? Last chance to go woo.
You're ruthless. <laughs> um, I forgot, Joy told us, don't leave, like, don't go um, when you're done. She's got your number. She knows. Um, thank you so much. What a dream come true to come and dance for you in this beautiful room with my dear friend Simon Christman. We'll do one more tune that's a tune of his. You have to count. One, two. Coming. I forgot to ask at the break, is anyone here for the first time? Okay, well, we hope to see you again. Um, we, we love people who come back time after time, and we love newcomers as well. We, yes, we only have a staff of two, but we have hundreds of volunteers for the festival, and we're always looking for more volunteers. So you can work your, your admission cost off by volunteering at the festival. All, all sorts of jobs available before, during, and after. So go online to oldsongs.org and click on the festival page. It'll tell you all sorts of things about the festival and, and everything else. And thanks again for coming. Safe going home. And many man's hands make light work. So if you're on this side of the aisle, if you could fold your chair and put it against the wall. The same on the other side of the aisle. Thank you so much for coming tonight. And have a safe drive home. Thanks.